as part of his stay in Burkina Faso. Kemi Seba, leader of Pan-African Emergencies, held a press briefing during which he addressed topics. Related meeting with Captain Ibrahim Traoré, the Alliance of Sahel State, and Russia. There was in our exchanges with the President, as I tell you, I can say the 10 important communication statement would take place at the moment. Timely, but it had an element of great satisfaction as far as we are concerned because we had the confirmation that we have the same sub-regional geostrategic rating and the same geostrategic skilled rate at the regional level. Internationally, there is an alignment of views, an alignment of positions, an alignment of perspective, an alignment of objectives. We also came to say to all the enemies of the AES that being adversaries of the AES, you are not simply adversaries of Mali, Burkina Faso, of Niger. You are enemies of all the Pan-Africanist youth of the world because the AES project is the matrix of the future system of confederation which is in the region, because in most West African countries have to get rid of continental influence, have to get rid of the madness in the head of our leaders. The other countries were associated with the AES. Benin, my country, will end up associating with the AES. It is natural. Côte d'Ivoire of Rahman Alassan Ouattara. The problem for Africa will have to leave power. And for the sovereignist Ivorian to take over power, Côte d'Ivoire will be a great ally of AES. And I speak directly from Ouagadougou. Coming from Cotonou, I was there a few days ago without obviously being able to get our hands on a booth president understand that our generation is not a personal war against you, but we have a personal war against your allies. We will have a personal war with your allies. Because at the moment, you want to strengthen link with the people that pressure the Sahel, that colonize our fathers, that colonize our mothers. Our youth wants sovereignty. Our youth wants to get rid of this entity that have tied us. Our generation is the voice of our ancestors. Our ancestors died so that we can be standing, and we cannot accept that some can sell our dignity for their greed. I have started a discussion tour in Africa at the political level to Russian parliament last year in front of all officials and in front of a delegation of 50 African parliamentarians from different African countries and in front of Russian authorities. I gave a speech saying that if Russia made the mistake of bringing Africa closer to wanting to produce the same new colonial pattern that France committed, we will fight Russia and Africa will be equal. I said it and you can still find these speeches on different social media platforms because the difference in the moment of management is that what I say to one king is the same thing I say to another king. Russia can never mess up with Africa. Russia is a counterbalance and I am happy when the West have an interethnic war with its eastern Caucasian borders. It pleased me. It is them who taught us to divide and rule. Africa can also learn lessons, and when they fight among themselves, it's good for us because it relieves us of their pressure as they fight among themselves. We can accelerate the process of self-determination. Russia will never be the messiah of Africa because the sole interest of Russia are Russians. But when the one who has gotten into the habit for centuries of drowning you, See somebody who fights you and fight with you. When they are fighting, you will have your capacity to take charge, to take your head out. It is not a secret to anyone that Russia, Iran, Turkey, Venezuela, 
okay and also other countries look with a good eye the pan-african agency and the influence we have in free-speaking african countries and in africa in general it's a secret for anyone we call it geostrategic the enemy of my enemy can occasionally become my friend but that cannot happen i ask that it will be in my mess and that is how you deal with people he oppose when there's a demonstration in Africa with the flap of Gosha because I said that when we do that we go down. You will not see the flap of Burkina Faso waving, doing a Russian demonstration. Then we must also learn to avoid. Even though I know that when they do it, they do it to defy the West. But the greatest defiance of the West should be to wave our flag. My message is clear. Africa, wake up. Africa, rise up. Africa, without borders. Africa, continental free trade area. The time is now. Please, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.